Look at that! Look what a match that is! We're going to do the house noodle colored! Yeah, the house is going to be noodle the schnoodle colored! Pretty close! Pretty close! Yes! Yeah! She's like, I wore it first! Hi everyone, Noodle the Schnoodle here. I'm 16 years old and today is the day that my parents have decided to model the house after me. They ordered a bunch of wood flooring to install all over the currently carpeted areas so that it is the same color as me. And here you can see the piles of wood. That's not even all of it. Here is the rest. And the contractor is going to be coming in this weekend and doing the house. Uh, so I just thought that you might find it interesting to know that they decided to make it the same color as my hair. It's gonna be down here in the office and uh, dad's already done the pot lights as well. We'll also be doing the upstairs in every room and the hallway, except for, of course, the baby room. And finally, we will be doing the living room, which, as you may recall, I, let's just say, got the carpet out uh, earlier than expected. Um, so yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing, and I am going to share with you our before and after photos of making the house noodle colored. So here is a video of before, and as you can see, I am getting my beauty sleep before we start this project. I think that's really important. Important, and I'm sleeping on this ugly sub flooring and then after that I was assigned the director of the project. I started by ripping out what was left of the carpet which was pretty much upstairs so dad and I ripped that all out together and from there I went downstairs to start removing the furniture from the living room and the office so that when the workers would come in they would just be able to get right to it with the installation of the hardwood. As well, doing these things yourself saves a lot of money. We saved like $700 almost just from ripping out the carpet upstairs and then moving the furniture would have cost extra money too. So here I am directing that. Dad is gesturing to me to ask for directions. Pivot, get the couch right in there and then we need to go grab the underlayment, Dad. Let's get that over to the living room, Dad. The reason we put the underlayment under the hardwood is to provide a moisture barrier to protect the hardwood as well as to make up for any inconsistencies in the sub flooring so that the flooring will lie more straight on top. So it's as simple as unrolling the foam and lying it in strips across the floor and we did this for the entire upstairs as well and everywhere that the hardwood would be going down and dad's explaining here that you want to unroll it this way um, so that it doesn't curve uh, when you unroll it the other way and when you put down the other strip next to it you want them overlapping just a little bit. While dad continued to move things out of the living room, I started to realize that directing all this was really hard work, so I continued directing, but from the comfort of my bed. Just part of the privilege of working from home. Now don't be fooled, there were certainly some very stressful times ahead. The noise that dad was making from nailing down the floor was so loud that I went to the office to hide, and here I am under the desk, and it was pretty scary. Mum tried to take me outside, but it was a freezing night and we couldn't stay out for too long. So then we ended up locking ourselves in the mudroom, just trying to avoid the noise and trying hopefully to make me not as scared. But as you can see, I was still terrified. Mum realized that I couldn't be around all these renovations. So the following morning, we got the hell out of there as soon as the contractors arrived. We went for a long morning walk and it was absolutely beautiful in this cold weather because it looked like the ground was blanketed in diamonds because the snow had frozen into little ice cubes everywhere. The sun also came out so I didn't even need to wear my double coats as I have been doing throughout the winter this morning so that was nice. And as we were walking, mom called my grandma to come and rescue me from all of this and grandma came to pick us up so that we could go and visit my cousins in Cambridge. We tried to stop and visit my great grandfather first and he was very excited about the baby coming but unfortunately I walked right into the middle of the room in front of everybody and uh, peed on the carpet three times so after that I was uh, shunned from there and never to return so then we went to go and visit my cousins. Once mom and grandma were done taking photos with my great grandpa. This is my tallest cousin, Sparky, and then over behind him is my other little cousin, and her name is Molly, and there she is playing. It's 
Brecky is so tall that to say hello to him properly, I need to be up on the couch so that we can be nose to nose. But the cousin that surprised me the most is their latest addition, Wanda. I have never been up close and personal with a bird before and here's Wanda flying around and I was just eyeing her because I was very interested in what she was doing. So that was kind of cool for me to see a bird for the first time and uh, as you can see Sparky's excited about her as well. Here's Molly and as you can see she knows a little bit of sign language. That's her way of saying more belly rubs please. I was excited to get home and see the renovations, but instead we ended up snowed in at Grandma's. So we will just use some footage that Dad sent me so that you can see the renos. So here is what the contractors had started when Dad sent us this video. And that's the upstairs hallway, and as you can see, it is the same color as me as promised. And he sent some photos as well when it was more complete. But unfortunately, due to the crazy weather, they did have to cancel the following day. So I will follow up with more photos. So in the meantime, I am staying at Grandma's. We're snowed in, and here she is trying to shovel the backyard just so that I can do my business. I think it's like 20 or 30 centimeters of snow. It's literally up to her knees, but even though she worked so hard and shoveled so that I would be able to go out in the backyard, I refused to do my business out there, and uh, <laughs> I uh, ended up going elsewhere. Uh, you know, you can't blame me. Look at this weather. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I will follow up with you once uh, we are able to get out of this uh, snowed in situation. So enjoy and I will show you the final renos next time. Yours truly, Noodle the Schnoodle.